Hi, I'm Coach Julie, an ADHD productivity coach, and this video is on cluttering. For many, accumulating clutter has become a way of life. While this is not typically the initial desire, things just end up this way. I've seen more than my share of clutter and have helped hundreds of people get rid of theirs. I have also learned a lot about why a person gets into this place in their life and how to shift that way of living. I have outlined three main reasons people generally have cluttered environments. You may identify with one or several of these areas. Next video, I'm going to provide some additional tips on ways of dealing with the following issues. So the reasons we clutter. One is that there's often a fear of never being able to get something again. Many people who have this fear have had it since childhood and are afraid that their things will end up being taken away. Sometimes they don't have much while growing up, or perhaps they grew up in the Depression era and often had very little, and so their material goods were very valuable to them in a way unlike today. Another reason is the inability to make a decision of whether an item is still needed. Now, for many, the inability to make a decision about keeping or discarding an item can be really overwhelming. When faced with this decision, they feel it is easier to just hold on to something and deal with it later. Often, we realize that something we have is no longer useful, but we either spent a lot of money on it, it was given to us as a gift, or it won't serve a purpose and we feel guilty getting rid of it. Actually, holding on to it just keeps bringing back the negative feelings associated with it and thus prolongs the agony. So just get rid of it. Learning to make a decision is actually a process and I will discuss that in the next video. The last reason is stop the cluttering before it even gets started. Many times people go shopping and end up bringing things into the house that they just really don't need. So don't buy something without some real purpose in mind. Getting something because it's on sale or you were out shopping for the day is not a good enough reason to buy it. Ask yourself, what will I actually do with this? And if you ask yourself this question and you can't come up with a good enough reason, then just don't bother getting it in the first place. Your home will thank you. Clutter can take control of your life with even the best intentions. So spend time regularly to purge through the areas in your home or office so it doesn't get out of hand. It also takes far less time to do this periodically versus waiting until it becomes a major mess. Work on it little bits at a time. Set aside small increments of time versus tackling an entire room at once. And you will have much more success and be inclined to go back to it at a later date. So thank you for watching. For a written version of this video material, visit my blog at CoachJulie.com.